The dear students, I am Dr. Jamil Abbas from the Physiology Department of the Faisalabad Medical University. Here today we are going to discuss about the basics of the ECG or the EKG electrocardiogram. And this is the first part. And this first part is concerned with the lead system and the definitions we use in the ECG. Actually, it is a recording of the electrical activity occurring within the heart. That what is meant by that electrical activity? Actually, it is the initiation or generation of impulse from the FC node. Then it's traveling to the AV node. Here is some delay. And then bundle of phase and then both bundle branches. And ultimately moving into the myocardium or the ventricles and last part this heart is going to be right. So this is a wave of depolarization moving in this direction and ultimately going to cause the depolarization and then there is a repolarization. All this is known as the electrical activity of the heart. And this electrical activity of the heart can be recorded by placing the electrodes over the surface of the body. Because this heart is placed within a wet surface and this electrical activity generated over there and travel to all of the heart, it can be conveyed up to the surface and we can record by placing different electrodes over the surface of the body that's what's happening in your heart. So this recording of this whole activity is known as the ECG. Now. Here in the electrical activity, we don't mean that which is the definition in the physics that is the flow of electrons. Here there is no flow of electrons, but here is the generation of impulse. Here is the movement of sodium and the calcium inside the heart. Then the depolarization, that is the depolarization and then the repolarization, that is the movement of the potassium out of the cell. So this is known the electrical activity that the movement of sodium ions, calcium ions and the potassium ions in and out of the cell. This whole is known the electrical activity of heart. So to record that electrical activity of heart, we need minimum 12 leads. It may be the more, but we are, with standard ECG contains only the 12 leads. Why we need the 12 leads? Why we can't detect or uh, record all these things through one lead because the problem is that the leads they are behaving like a human eyes. Suppose in this diagram you will see that here is your heart. Suppose this is heart, although this is a cup and it is four chairs around it. Suppose this is a heart and this is a lead number one. Suppose this is a lead one. It is looking the heart from this side. While this lead or chair is looking the heart from this side. This lead is looking the heart from the back and this lead is looking from the left of the heart. This is from the right of the heart. So heart which is present, suppose it is a heart which is present in the center is visualized from all sides. Just to visualize the activities from all sides of the heart, we need different leads. We need uh, to visualize the heart from different angles. That's why we need multiple leads because we have to look the heart from different angles and planes and for each angle and plane we need a separate lead. So we need different leads. One of them is known as the three bipolar standard limb leads which are written the Roman letter 1, 2 and 3. Bipolar that means they have got three, two poles. One pole is one side and other pole is on the other side. And this is this I have got three leads, bipolar leads. We will see later on where they are going. Actually, lead number one is going from your right shoulder to your left shoulder. When I am using from the right shoulder, that is from means negative, towards means positive. I will show you a diagram soon from where you can understand these three leads very easily. Then we have got three unipolar augmented limb leads. Here they are written as A, A for augmented, B for voltage, R for the area where it is placed. That is, if it is placed on the right shoulder, it will be written as a AVR. F, F for the foot, 
if it is placed on the over the foot it will be labeled it will be denoted as a for augmented voltage on the foot augmented voltage on the left shoulder here in the unipolar it they have got one pole actually in the word augmented means to enhance in this system of the leads which is these leads are this one two three these are used these are same leads which are used in this but here we can augment the potential difference which can enhance the potential difference how actually we combine the two leads suppose we combine the lead number 2 and third we add them two and then we can compare these two with the one so when we combine these two and third their potential will be more and we compare with this there will be much more potential difference so in this way if you use the lead number 2 we will place this one and we will combine third and one together and we com we compare this two potential of the one and third with the this two so in this way we combine that we the negative the positive electrode is placed on a particular part of the limb for example it is placed on the right shoulder then it is known as the avr and the negative negative electrode is formed by the combination of the other two electrode suppose we are going to place this electrode on the suppose the right shoulder then the negative this will be the positive electrode and the negative electrode suppose this is your avf placed on the foot so it is a positive and the negative will be the combination of the two other electrode actually when we combine the other two we make the potential difference more than the normal and we can detect it very easily that's why we use three leads avr avf and avl these are three unipolar augmented limb leads then we have got actually now this bipolar these three bipolar standard limb leads and three unipolar augmented limb leads they are going to see the heart from frontal plane frontal plane means if you take a wheel of a bicycle suppose you take a wheel of bicycle and this is that this yellowish one consider just yellowish one this is a wheel of the bicycle and these are spokes of that wheel if you place that wheel over your chest wall in the front if you place this this one on the front of your chest this orange wheel then this is your frontal plane and your bipolar limb leads unipolar limb leads they are looking the heart on the from the frontal plane one one this is your lead number one this one is the lead number 1 this is lead number 1 and here you have got the lead number 2 and here you have got the lead number 3 we will see the detail from where they are originating and what is their their destination and we will also see the ion thorn triangle soon so these two sets the three bipolar standard limb leads and you both the and three unipolar augmented limb leads this is your avf this is your avr this is your avl they are working or they are looking the heart in the frontal plane after that we have got six chest leads also these chest leads are looking the heart in the horizontal plane this your green wheel suppose you have your you take another wheel that is your green wheel if you insert this green wheel your the green wheel into your chest horizontally this is your chest wall if you insert in this way and you have got these leads they are working in the horizontal plane actually the spore this is the these leads are donated uh, these leads are written as v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 these leads actually they are also looking the heart they are also behaving like the human eye and they are looking the heart from here into this one actually they are just the peeping through a keyhole your vision become very narrow and you are seeing the thing through and through directly the area which is coming in front of you in front of your eye so this chest leads they are working in the horizontal planes while lead uh, bipolar leads and the unipolar augmented leads they work in the frontal plane they are two different things we will see later on how they are going to be function so these are the different leads which are 
used for the recording of the ECG. Now, important points to understand that whenever the first of all the current always moves from negative to positive. When I say the lead number one, it is moving from right shoulder to the left shoulder. If it is, I am saying this lead number one. Uh, just wait, I will like to uh, show a diagram over here. This is the diagram for you. Here, your lead number one. Lead number one is moving from right shoulder, although the, it is placed on the, on the wrist, but I am using the word shoulder, one and the same thing. From right shoulder, from means negative. Towards the left shoulder, towards means positive. So, the current flows from negative towards the positive. And positive is always a recording electrode. And you place an eye over here. So, this eye which is placed over here is looking the heart from this direction. So, lead number 1 is looking the heart from this direction or more broadly you can see the lead number 1. You flex your head and neck over this lead and look into the heart on the front of your chest. So, your lead number 1 is looking the heart from the frontal plane in this area. <coughs> Similarly, you have got the lead number 2. It is moving from right shoulder, from right shoulder to the left leg. From means negative, towards means positive. So, this lead is looking the heart from this direction. It is looking the heart. Suppose you place, you place a human eye over here. So, this lead is looking the heart in this direction, from this direction. Lead number third, it is going from the left shoulder to the left foot. Here you have got double positive. Again, it is looking the heart from this area toward this. Lead number one is looking the heart from this area, frontal plane. Lead number two is looking the heart from this side. Lead number third is looking the heart from this side. So that means heart is going to be visualized from all sides in the frontal plane. And this, if you combine these three, it will going to form an Einthoven triangle. This is your Einthoven triangle. At the same time, at the same time, you will see over here. Here you have got the lead number one. This is your lead number one black. And this is red one is your lead number two as I described. And this is the orange one is uh, your lead number third. These are looking the heart from this direction, this direction, from this direction. At the same time, I have placed your augmented limb lead. Augmented limb lead, A for augmented, V for voltage, all are for the area where it is placed the electrode, where the positive electrode is placed. So, in AVR, the positive electrode is placed on the right shoulder and this lead is looking the heart from this direction to the heart. This eye is for AVR. It is looking the heart from this direction. This negative electrode is made up of by the combination of, if by the combination of other two. If I am using this one, then this is, this negative electrode by, this is all done by the machine. Actually, we are not doing all these things. This is done by the machine automatically. Similar is the case, by AVR, you place the AVR positive electrode on left shoulder and negative electrode over here. So, this AVL, this AVL, augmented voltage lead which is placed over the left shoulder, it is looking the heart from this direction. And same is the case with the AVF which is placed on the foot, left leg, foot. Now, this AVL, AVL is looking the heart from inferior side, from this direction. So, your heart is visualized from frontal plane from every direction. From this direction, one, from this direction, two, from this direction, sorry, two, three, AVL from this direction, AVL, sorry, AVL from this corner, AVR from this corner, and AVF from the inferior side from the bottom. So, in this way, we use frontal plane for the visualization of heart by the limb lead, uh, unipolar limb lead and bipolar limb leads. Now, a few words about the, your augmented limb leads. And this was all about the first thing, first important point, current always moves from negative towards the positive. Second, when the current 
or actually you judge the current by making the vector analysis and where the resultant vector after adding up the total of them the resultant vector which is term of the physics. When the resultant vector is moving towards the positive electrode which is a recording electrode there will be a positive or upward deflection. This is thumb rule remember this thing all these four points you have to memorize current always moves from negative to positive electrode positive electrode is always a recording electrode when the current or the resultant vector moves towards the recording electrode positive electrode there will be upward deflection positive deflection when the current is moving away from the positive electrode there will be a negative or the downward deflection and last one is very important for the t wave when the wave of negativity when the wave of repolarization is moving towards the negative electrode again there will be a positive deflection so wave of repolarization or negativity moving towards the negative electrode there will be a positive deflection so here is a diagram just to understand the limb leads suppose you are going to place the on your uh, this part this the avr this part so you will you will connect these two together through a resistance and compare it with this one similarly if you place on the avl over here avl then you are going to connect the other two electrodes with through a resistance and compare these two with this one similarly with the when the place on the left foot you are going to compare you this this one plus this one minus this one so if you compare this with this uh, addition of these two it will lead to the formation of augmented limb lead dear students this was all about the leads and in the next video we are going to look um, in the more detail of all these things. in the part two we will see the different parts of the ecg and then we will uh, also see the ecg details of the ecg paper Thank you very much. I hope you definitely enjoy this one.